Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, October 5th, 2022. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. I do apologize that it's been a few months since I've been able to do the astronomy show over on the channel, but uh, I'm now taking a master's course at CCU and uh, I have lots of homework. <laughs> so, uh, just, well, we'll, maybe in the winter, maybe in the spring, we'll see. Um, anyways, our Speaking of astronomy, our full moon is Sunday, October 9th, so beautiful evenings to enjoy the beginning crispness of fall. The sun is crazy active on our side right now, with sunspots galore. The northern hemisphere is now more dominated by uh, sunspots. Looking at drought, things are getting just a touch better out here on the plains, but not much really has changed. Nationally, Drought is kind of worsening up and down the plains, especially in the northern plains, and a little bit here in California. Not much has changed here, but Arizona to Colorado, up to Wyoming, is about the best in the west. Looking at the rainfall, we do keep getting rain in the state each week. We got uh, mist out here, Pueblo to Arkansas, but uh, along the Front Range a little bit hit. We had uh, some thunderstorms come through, so some folks got. Longmont got hit pretty hard for a little while, so I was up in uh, Loveland when it was as well. Some good water out here. Looking at severe weather for, yep, yeah, I'm skipping the severe weather climatology. Just nothing. We have a chance of thunderstorms to our south on Wednesday, southwest on uh, Thursday, and Friday still south of Longmont, but including Denver. At least a little convection on Friday. Uh, the national uh, surface map shows cold front down here, another cold front kind of lurking up here on the Canadian border, and they're a little more bullish on the snow and rain, but this is not much. There's not much coverage at all. That is really deceptive. That's <laughs> not going to be that much. Um, uh, Friday, October 7th, mountain snows. It does cool down a little bit. We've got this front pushing in. You might see some showers, but uh, it won't be thunderstorms. For smoke, Thursday and Friday, very clear in Colorado, so no problems there. <clears throat> Put the freezing line on to show you how we are starting to get a little closer to freezing. The error bars here around the lowest temperatures about eight, nine days from now do go below freezing. So it is possible that we could get our first freeze by the 12th or 13th. It's also significant precipitation now showing up about the 15th and 16th just off the edge here. In the short term we have some shower chances, a little drier on the 7th and 8th. Pretty good coming out of the weekend with temperatures really staying inside this normal window. We have 70 down to 66 for highs, 41 down to 37. So we're dropping another 10s place as we get to into the 60s and 30s for our expected temperatures. That was a strange thing. All right, um, there isn't much to show in the highlight because really all week long we have a ridge way off the west coast, northwest flow, which ripples can come through and give us storms now and then. This is next Tuesday, uh, uh, so the end of the forecast, but it really doesn't look different much throughout the time. So we can go put it in motion and watch this. So there's our western ridge. There's the northwest flow coming down across the west. And got someone knocking on the recording. All right, so we keep watching the trough dig here in the southwest and moving off. Yep, yeah, see, just there's not much change. As for temperatures, we do see the cold front sloshing around. So here's a big bunch of cold air coming out of Canada, and it just gets into the western, oh, sorry, eastern side of the state, pushes up against the mountains briefly. You could get us some showers because you get that upslope, and then it's gone. Um, coolness and moisture stays down in the desert southwest. Yep, and we are a little bit above normal according to that. There's another cold front coming on Wednesday next week, and it stays on the side of the Rockies as well. And like that. So some real heat in the Pacific Northwest, but we're right in this boundary zone between them. For water vapor, I'm just going to show a few days of this that 
there is um, just a little above normal amount of uh, moisture. Here comes that cold front we see slip by. Cold air is very dry. It's holding very little moisture. So as it sloshes down into the east, that's going to keep any uh, hurricanes from coming in for a while. So that's good news. But really, here, here comes that secondary cold front pushing a little moisture ahead of it. There's your chance of showers and then it's shoving off into the southeast as well. For precipitation, let's take a look. It's staying down in New Mexico, southern Colorado. And there's a little bit uh, in the northeast. There's some around Denver and I-25 for the weekend. And then going into next week or Sunday into Monday. And yeah, there's just not much. But we're going to watch the very end of this window. Here comes the cold front sweeping down on Wednesday and Thursday. Another cold front slipping by. Big hurricane down here, the southern gulf. But it looks like it's just going to stay down there. So there's October 15th. Yeah. And nothing. So precipitation over the next five days. Not much. A little bit in the mountains. Add five more days to ten days. Still not much. So we go 70s. We drop with the cold front and a chance of showers on Friday. Warming back to the upper 60s or 70s on Sunday and then 70s for next week. I'm just keeping a low chance of rain all the way through. You might see something now and then. It's very possible. Take a look at that investigation storm. It's nothing now, but it's expected to be a pretty big hurricane. But it's going to be uh, hugging the very southern parts of the Gulf and the Caribbean. And, and it's hitting the Yucatan and like that. Will it do something beyond that and get into the Texas area? That's too, way, way, way too far to tell. So well, maybe something we talk about next week. Frequent weather updates and local news. Longmont Leader and Broomfield Leader. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.